I wanted to touch on the idea of fairness in the competitive market. First, we need to define what exactly quote unquote fair is. There are two ways of looking at it. We can consider something unfair if the result isn't fair, or we can consider something unfair if the rules aren't fair. Let's start with the first, where we consider something fair if the result is fair. For example, we would say that a bank manager who earns millions of dollars while his or her employees earn a few thousand dollars a year is unfair. There was this idea in the 19th century called utilitarianism, and the concept is that only equality brings happiness. This idea argues that we should try to achieve the greatest happiness for the greatest number. In essence, it says that we should redistribute income from the rich to the poor to the point of complete equality. The reasoning was that everyone has the same wants and needs, but each additional dollar spent by the rich brings them a lower marginal benefit. Thus, if we transfer their income to the poor, then each additional dollar spent by the poor yields a higher marginal benefit, making the overall marginal benefit greater. In a perfect world, the idea of utilitarianism might work, but there is a trade-off between efficiency and fairness as defined by result. In the real world, there are a lot of costs associated with redistributing income, especially administrative costs. The Canada Revenue Agency, which is the equivalent of the IRS in the United States, deals with income redistribution and is a massive agency with extremely high administrative costs. If we want to redistribute income, we would have to impose taxes, and as I mentioned earlier, taxes are a source of deadweight loss. This is because taxing income results in people wanting to work less and the quantity of labor being less than the efficient quantity. The 19th century idea was thus revised to state the following. We want to make the poorest as well off as possible after taking into account all of the associated costs. The problem with this is that there are different levels of poverty, and so if we wanted to raise everyone to the same level, the poorest of the poor would gain a lot more from redistribution than the richest of the poor. Is this fair? It's up for debate. The second way that we could look at this is calling something fair if the rules are fair. The symmetry principle states that people in similar situations be treated similarly. This is how we would define the rules as being fair in the sense that the same rules apply to everyone. It is argued that in order for the rules to be fair for everyone, the following two things must hold. The state must enforce laws that establish and protect property rights, and that private property must be transferred from one person to another only by voluntary exchange. This just means that people shouldn't be allowed to steal property and gain an advantage in that way. In addition, it is theorized that if property rights are enforced, and if voluntary exchange takes place in a competitive market, resources will be allocated efficiently. The view supports that no matter how unequal the resulting income distribution is, it will be fair. And that concludes the lecture on efficiency and equity.